Chapter 1. The Man by the Home Depot. It was one of those days when nothing seemed to go as planned. I drove to Home Depot, hoping to find someone to help with some cleaning around my place. I'd had luck before finding workers there, but this time, things felt different. I found myself frustrated after talking to a couple of guys, both Spanish speakers. The language barrier made communication challenging, and they asked for more than I had in mind for the job. It didn't sit right with me. I walked away feeling a bit less confident about the whole thing. I started heading back to my car, shaking my head in frustration. It wasn't my day. Maybe I was overthinking it, blaming fate for something as small as finding a decent cleaner. But as I reached my car, a man stepped out from the parking lot, catching my eye. Assalamu alaikum. He greeted me quietly but warmly. I stopped. Walaikum assalam. I replied, turning to face him. He didn't say much. He just smiled and waited. He looked like someone who'd been through his share of hard times, but his eyes had a certain honesty. For a moment, I hesitated. What did I have to lose at this point? Can you clean? I asked, trying to keep things simple. He nodded eagerly. Yes. I decided to push further. Bathroom clean. His face brightened with a smile. Good. He said confidently. I raised an eyebrow. Curious but not yet convinced. Kitchen too. Yes. He replied with the same confidence. At that moment, something clicked. Dave wasn't offering me empty promises or a drawn-out negotiation. Just clear, straightforward answers. And honestly, that was precisely what I needed. Okay, I said. Feeling better already. Come with me. Let's see how this goes. We walked to my car, and as he got in, I realized how quickly my frustration had faded. With only a handful of words, this man had lifted the weight of my doubts. Sometimes, the right person shows up when you're about to give up.